JPOE 1997 and today I'm going to show you a video on the Cobbler Survival Kit in a Can. You can get that, this at any like outdoor store like Sojourn, Bass Pro Shops, any place like that. Uh, I put an Altoids can next to it just to show you the size because most people know what an Altoids can is. So it's a little bigger than an Altoids can. Sodium can. And you just like open it up. I've already opened it up. And you could probably boil some water in, but as you can see, like the size isn't that big. It'd be nice to have, um, I'd advise bring a canteen, like with a canteen cup, because that'll be a lot easier and a lot less time consuming than using that to boil all, your, all of your water. Okay, so I'll start with the items going this way. First thing it comes with is a Ziploc bag. It's a pretty decent size, too. Uh, so that's just to show the size of it compared to the kit. So you could use this for killing water, keeping your gear waterproof. Like once you open the sodium can, it's watertight until you open it up. So once you open it up, if you want to keep all your gear waterproof, you can put it in here. It folds up really compact, and you can just put it in, put it in your pocket. Okay. The next item that it comes with. Is two different sizes of safety pins. One is one of the biggest safety pins I've ever seen. Like that's what it's like compared to my finger. Very big and very heavy duty. The second one is a smaller one. It's just like and you could use these for fish hooks if you wanted to. If you got the other fish hooks uh, lost, or if you you could use these for mending clothing. You could use it for a lot of things. So good thing to have in a kit. Next thing it has is two nails. These, uh, that's, I'm glad it comes with these actually. It's an average size nail, like, my finger, like that. So it's a good size nail. You could use these for shelter. You could use these for snails if you wanted to, for like spring loaded ones. So be creative with these. These, they were good. It came with a needle and thread. Um, this is the thread line that comes over here. It's a thread slash fishing line, but I just put some um, around the the heavy duty needle that they gave us, just so it's ready to sew with. And I just put some electrical tape at the end of the needle, just so it doesn't poke through the bag that I put it in. So it comes with a needle originally. And I just put this stuff around it. Next on the list is two average size fish hooks. These are good size fish hooks. Uh, you could, because with small small hooks you can catch big fish and small fish, but big hooks you can only call, catch big fish. So those are very really good, and I'm I'm glad of these. The next thing it comes with is four waterproof strike anywhere matches. I've used one of them just to see how they work, and the the I like them. Because now um, what they did here is they just have um, strike anywhere matches because you don't want to kill your strike because that's just more gear to carry. So this is um, the strike anywhere just dipped in wax. So I just peel the wax off, leave a little bit on, have the gunpowder exposed, strike it, and the wax gives you a longer light. So I, I did these with some of my own matches. It gives you a razor blade. I would advise killing a knife with you because there's some things the razor, blade the razor blade can't do. Like it'll be harder to skin an animal with this. Or use this to like baton wood. So I would carry a heavier duty knife than just a razor blade. But that's good for cutting other things. I already showed you this. This is quite a bit of fishing line slash sewing thread. And it's thick stuff too. It's not thinner, so it could hold quite a bit of uh for a fish. Next thing comes with two pieces of candy. Comes with this, they call it an energy candy, which is basically a mint. And it comes with a piece of chewing gum, double bubble. It also would have the comic in it, so it gives you something to read and keep your morale up. Both those things for morale to keep you going. It comes with two zip ties. It's supposed to come with three, but when I got it, it came with one um, wrapping the cord together. So I don't know what you could use these. I've been trying to think of what you could use these for, but I'm not quite sure yet because. They can't really hold much, so I'm sure you could find something in the wild because nothing's insignificant to not use because everything's help in the wild. 
Next thing has is a broth thing. So you like put uh like a the powder that you just add boiling water and you got like a beef broth or chicken broth and add all some food and to get your warm food into your system. It's pretty big, it's a decent amount. And this would definitely get you going. This would there's lots of salt. So that and that would um because when you sweat, you get rid of a lot of salt, and this would help get your salt and take back up. Next thing it comes with is multi-use cord. Uh, I don't know how much multi-use cord is. 91 centimeters, actually. I just checked because it says right on here. So says everything right there, along there. 91 centimeters of multi-use cord. This, I would probably use this for shelter. You could also use this for snares if you want. Um but it comes with snail wire. You could use this for repairing clothing. You could use, rope is a priceless thing in the wild. You could use rope for tons of things. You could, yeah, anything um, involves some kind of cordage in the wild. So, very useful item. Comes with two alcohol pads. These are good for first aid um, items. If you cut yourself and you want to disinfect the cut, and they could be used for tinder. You could use those matches on them, light lay them up, and then it'd be very good tinder because it has the alcohol in it. I like that. It comes with the Coblins helpful tips for survival in the outdoors. Um, it's not too helpful. Um, it has like the basic things, but and um, you'd need this if because if you have something if you like crash. You might get amnesia and forget what you know on survival, and this would just like recap your memory, like get you like, oh okay, I remember that, and this would help you do all the basics for survival. It's lightweight; it's a good item to keep with you. Next thing it has is two fire starter cubes. These are just basically like the they have the wax in them, and they have like the tinder. So you could use those with your matches and get a good fire going there too. And the alcohol pads. So it gives you two kinds of tinder you could use. It also comes with like literally the smallest compass I've ever seen. I'll show you on my single nail. That's like the smallest compass I've ever seen. And it's accurate as well. It's a good compass. Okay, here's an item I want to talk about. Um, this, I saw it in my kit. And I was thought it was like some dollar store cheapo whistle, and I was like, "Why are they giving me this?" But I blew it, and it is one of the loudest whistles I've ever heard. Like the Fox 40 whistle will be, is louder. I've tried it too, but it is a very good whistle for like. If you see the dimensions and stuff, it kind of looks like something you'd get in like a loot bag or something. So I'll, I'll give you a blow. This would get attention in the wild. So. This is very good. I like that. Uh, it gives you a book of matches. I've tried one of these out. Uh, sorry. Um, I've tried them out, and they burn longer than the average book of matches that I've used before. And it's a good item to carry because you get the the strike anywhere, the strike anywhere matches, and you get a book of matches. So lots of fire lighting material. Something it also gives you duct tape. Gives you a foot of duct tape. And the only thing I'm I did to fix this is it had about half an inch of duct of paper on the ridges that they just put the duct tape on the paper. I cut the edges off because it just takes some more space that you don't really need and it's wax paper anyway. So you can't use it for writing down. You may use it for fires but we have lots of tinder already. So you want to keep it as small as possible. It comes with two band aids or bandages. These aren't very really good bandages. Um, they're, they're small. They probably they peel off easily in the water. You could use the cotton in there for fire lighting as well. Uh, if you had to, if you're in a dry environment, that'd be better to use these. But if you're in a moist environment, they wouldn't stay on more than a more than a couple hours. I, I, I also want to talk about this. It gives you a, a pencil. And some paper that's folded up for it's always good to keep like a journal or something when you're doing survival. Or um you can make a map or they write down berries that you found on your trip. It's always good to write stuff down. But it gives you this pencil. 
it has a clip on the end that is really not needed. It's it takes up a lot of space. If they just kept the pencil like this, that'd be great because you could add other things. Because this needs like maybe like tin foil or like a couple water purification tablets in this kit. They could have um, added uh, at least a couple water purification tablets in replace of this clip. I w I don't know why you'd keep this. I want more like a like I like a different kind of pencil. Like um just like one of those mini ones that you can get. So this uh I wouldn't want it. I'd probably replace it with something. But yeah. This paper is good. It's good it's good writing paper. It gives you a tea bag. Um, now official cut caught in it when in the, when it was still packaged in the tin. So uh, it's leaking, so I put some scotch tape over, but I would obviously take it off when I put it in the tea thing, tea cup. I'm not a big fan of tea, but I'm sure you'd want like a hot beverage to get you like going in the in the wild because it has the caffeine in it to get you up and running. It comes with some snail wire. It actually calls it calls it multi-use wire on this thing, on the like introduction. It has some red tape around it. You can use this for, well, you can't really use that red tape for much. But, um, the snow wire, it's, I like it. It's thicker than the snow wire that I usually use. You could use this for shelter. You could use this for mending clothing, like making, like, stitches. Um, you could use this for snailing, obviously. There's a bunch of things you could do with snow wire. It's pretty light, so it's worth carrying. It gives you a pack of sugar. This is good. Uh, I, I usually keep a pack of sugar in my survival kit anyway because it's um, it'll just get you going as well. They have a lot of morale foods in here, like the candy, the gum, the t like the tea, the oval. Now they have the sugar, so this would keep you going as well. I like to keep this stuff in here. Make, it'll make you like stay in the wild more pleasant. The last item they they keep in this is a small signal mirror. It's I'll give, I'll give it a shine. There. It's a small signal mirror, like it's a piece of paper. That's shoot. It's not like one of the thick ones with the sighting things, but you'll be happy. You'll be happy to have one of these. It's small, but it would get it would get uh, someone's attention. No shines. Okay, so that's the Coggle and Survival Kit in a can. That's my opinion on some items that should be fixed and some items that are just plain awesome. Uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe to JP. <laughs>